Previously, on the Mega Campaign, we changed ideologies, going from the German Empire to the German People's Republic, and we defeated the German Empire in the Civil War. And a faction stretched from Eastern Siberia all the way to Western Europe. And everything was going according to plan, until the German people weren't happy with the current ideology, and one man decided to start a revolt. And the revolts spread like fire all across the German faction and his radical ideology changed Germany forever. However, it's 1962 and our current leader is getting very old. And Europe isn't under our control anymore. We have still got a strong foothold over most of Europe though. Let's see if it will stay like that or it will change. But Germany's technological side is going very well. We put a man on the moon. We are the first country to ever do that. Now, for a successor, we will choose the reformer, Albert Speer. But some of the other German faction leaders aren't really happy with the decision. Like Heinrich, Göring, and Bormann. So we're going to have to fight the power struggle. And now the entire world knows that Speer is a new German successor. Let's see how well he can lead. Now, the Führer's condition isn't looking so well. And his condition is even getting worse. And today marks the day that the Führer has died. Let's see how the German people will react. Now after the German leader's death, Germany fell into chaos. The German faction leaders started to rise. And the German civil war begins. Let's see what we can do. Now, our first defense will be against Göring's Germany. We will try to encircle Schleswig Holstein. And we have encircled Schleswig Holstein successfully. Göring isn't looking so well. And it looks like Gunning's army isn't really that good. We have captured Staten in a matter of weeks. Let's see how much more we can do. Göring and the eastern territories of Heinrich's Germany have capitulated to Spears Germany. But we cannot celebrate just yet. We have still got to deal with Bormann and Western Heinrich. With the city of Vienna captured, 
the German Civil War comes to an end. And Speer is victorious. Let's see what awaits us for Speer's new Germany. Now, we may have won the German Civil War, however, we aren't as strong as we used to be back in 1962, so we're going to try and reconquer Bohemia and the Netherlands. And everything went according to plan. The Bohemians accepted annexation, and the Netherlands joined our powerful faction. Now, I sent an invite to Slovakia and then Danish. The Danish luckily accepted, but Slovakia didn't, so we're going to have to take them by force. And that was pretty easy. If you blinked, you probably missed the entire war. But we got Slovakia under our control. And our faction is pretty average. But we will now take care of the Polish. And we're going to go down the more brutal path for Poland. Let's see how well this path will do. We have also got to do with the British, with the Channel Crisis. Now the United States will join in on this. Hopefully, if we declare war on the British, they won't join in. So it'll be more easier for us. Oh, the Polish accepted to join our faction. So we don't have to declare war on them. This is a... Hmm. We totally weren't preparing a war with you, Poland. Anyway. We're going to look over to our former Russian territories that we used to own. Starting with the Ostland. We are just going to declare war. So, let's split over the Ostland. And Reich's Commissariat, Ostland, is now back under control. Okay, we will now prepare a war against the Republic of Ukraine. Okay, let's see how long this war will take. Uh oh, the Channel Crisis escalated, and we are now at war with Free Britain. Luckily, the United States didn't intervene. And Free Britain has capitulated to the German Reich. But we have still got to deal with the Ukrainians. Okay, that war between the German Reich and the Ukrainians took far longer than it should have, due to the fact that we had to fight a two-front war between Britain and the Ukrainians. Anyway, we will now look over to Moscow and Caucasia. Okay, we have declared war on Moscow. Let's see how long this war will take.
Surprisingly, the People's Republic of Serbia have the code warnings. But I'm not gonna worry about them just yet because they haven't really got a big army and they're kinda small. And that concludes our efforts in Moskwin and Caucasia. And the war in Serbia went according to plan as well. Everything is going well for Germany. And we've built up our army, and it's 1969, so we have to clean war on the French state. Let's see how fast we can eliminate them. and France is back under German control. Another victory for Spears, Germany. Now we're gonna look south to Italy. Let's see if we are gonna be able to defeat the Italians. And that concludes the war between the Germans and the Italians. We grow stronger by the day. Now we're going to prepare a war between Free France and the faction. This will open up Free France, the Turkish, Iberia, and Free France. Let's see if we can defeat them. And we have successfully defeated Free France and the faction. However, the Third World War has started. While we were focusing on Africa and Europe, 
the Soviets have formed the Treaty of Moscow, conquering basically all of Asia. And we are now at war with them. Let's see if we can be able to defeat the Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union has fallen to the German Reich. Now we've just got to take care of Japan since they are a major power somehow because they're a puppet of the Soviet Union and they haven't really got a military. And finally, after what felt like an eternity, we have defeated the Treaty of Moscow, which means Asia is now under our control. But Speer isn't done to liberating just yet. Our faction is big, although we are still gonna deal with the organization of free nations and we are at war with basically the entire faction and we're going to prepare a naval invasion in South America and North America and we are starting the naval invasion of North America we have successfully landed in Greenland although my computer is about to blow up I think we can defeat the Americans And we have launched a naval invasion in Canada and you can obviously see that it went pretty successfully. Let's see if we can do even more. And we've captured the capital and basically the entire east coast of the United States. Let's see how long they will last. Now I've just got to capture a few cities until the Americans capitulation because they were 99%. And there we go, we have capitulated the United States causing the peace conference of the entire continent of both North America and South America. This concludes the final war of the Mecca campaign. In the 1870s we successfully united the German Empire and in the 1910s we defeated the Entente and then in 1936 we changed the ideology of the German Empire to the German Socialist Republic and then few years after that, we changed the ideology again to fascism. And then we changed the ideology again to nationalism, or not nationalism, nationalist socialism, under Albert Speer. And we have conquered the entire world. The German people will be proud. And this concludes the German mega campaign.